How's it going, fellas? I'm Orosh, and this is another episode of Portal Knights, and in today's episode, we are going uh, back to these islands we've been in last episode, specifically this one, and we're gonna probably explore this, the one next to it, because they seem to be kind of intertwined, and they all, they both lead to the fort, and I must, and I imagine this is what we're gonna do this episode, the fort. Now, if you think... Oh, another thing I was talking about because I'm a bit drunk right now. I was talking about alcohol pretty much for the whole episode. Something I didn't, uh, brought up is that... I don't know, maybe because I'm young. Maybe I got a strong head game, who knows. Maybe because I'm a one big motherfucker. I don't really get hangovers that much. I mean, actually, recently I did get one. Uh, but, I don't know, me and my... Two friends. Oh, what the fuck's this? We drank like. Well, what the fuck's this? Oh, I can't use it. Thanks, bitch. Can I take you home? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, I'm taking this. Fuck. Oh, oh shit. Sorry. Mine now. Thank you. I got a trophy for what? Probably didn't do shit. And we also have pantaloons for this moron. Thank you for the that that fucking these things I just gave him don't even match the rest of his armor. Uh, we got like two quests going on: fallen soldiers where we need to kill them. I don't see a location that actually has fallen soldiers as an enemy. Uh, yeah, we can go here, which I didn't explore. It's pretty much the location that's exactly the same as this, but... Uh, with pro like some quests I haven't done. Oh my god, it's so hot outside. I was thinking about that, because like my... Oh yeah, there's a quest for these guys. It's a kind of a funny quest. Ah. Captain Rattlepike. Told you this chapter's full of fires. Yar of ass, you scarvy dog. Man the poop deck. Hey, do you believe... And I was a pirate, didn't I? That's the power of acting, my friend. Now, blah blah blah. He's an actor. Some bullshit. Wait, he gave me a quit? Oh, he wants call and cotton cloth. The fucking. Well, if I fucking knew he wants such shitty fucking items, I would have fucking picked some of my. when I was at the fucking house. This place is a little big. Maybe not. No, it's, it's not big, it just expands that way. And I was looking at that direction from one of the edges of the island. This, this game, like I told you many times, is much more enjoyable when you play it with normal sized islands, like I am now. Because on my other playthrough with giant fucking islands, it's just so annoying. Getting from one fucking end to the other, exploring every little fucking inch. You know? We're in a fucking dungeon! <laughs> I think about it, I could probably fucking find these materials somewhere in this fucking island. I don't even have to go back home. You know, actually, I don't think cotton spawns in these jungle environments. Uh, the other fiber does, whatever it's called. Stray came out recently, which is a game about a cat, and everybody's been obsessing over it, and that's for a good reason. It's a pretty good game. From what I've seen. Me and my friends wanted to play it, because we kind of recently have some obsession with cats. There was this thing where we like go on walks and stuff. And... We go on walks together, just, I don't know, to chill. We don't really have as much time to be hanging out every fucking day. So whenever we do have time, we just go on like a walk, talk about stuff. And yeah, we've been passing by many cute little kittens, and... I've been talking about cats all the time recently, and I fucking and Stray came out, and they were like, "Fuck it, we're gonna play it." And they looked up, and apparently Stray is available for free. What the fuck is this piece of armor I found? Holy fuck! Warlock vest. This is dope. How do I look? Ah, oh, fuck! You can't see. I want to see. This looks fucking awesome. Doesn't support GZB's color palette, therefore it sucks. Changed my mind about this. Wait, I had something. Oh yeah, this one. Hey, I learned a new recipe. What was I holding in that? 
Oh yeah, the axes. Cool, cool. Why do some items, like Warlock vest I just found, it seems like it's specifically a fucking item for mages. But then I'm able to wear it. But then sometimes, like, I receive this stupid skull and I can't fucking wear it. I mean, use it. I don't even know what it does. Does that mean if I were a mage, I wouldn't be able to use an axe? It's like a warrior exclusive thing. I don't know. Honestly, I got used to the slow axe, to be honest. I don't even... I don't even remember what the other fucking options were like. Maybe for a good reason, maybe they were shit. Maybe I shouldn't remember. Okay, I just wanted to dig some fucking gems. Some jams. Yeah, what the fuck I was talking about? Stray, uh... Yeah, so, now that PS Plus has these new subscriptions, which I'm... Actually, I think next week my PS Plus subscription's running out. I've been thinking about that. I'm getting paid in like two weeks. I don't want to fucking fall in there. And I was thinking, okay, maybe I'll hold on with that PS Plus subscription purchase and I'll actually purchase uh, the premium version. So I'll have access to PS1 games. You know what game is available on the fucking... On the premium version? Local Roku Midnight Carnival, bitch. Oh, what the hell? Vindicator helmet, that's really good. That's the helmet that I really liked and I used on my other character. See, it looks like I look like a Dark Souls character. Well, if I had a full Vindicator on the set, I would look really cool. That, that's what Shitface has. I just put Vindicator armor on him and I turn on the helmets and he looks really fun. Well, unfortunately, I don't think I'll play as Shitface anymore because, well, GZ is just much better. Let's face it, you, you can't really beat GZB. Wait, where the fuck is... Oh, it came from above. That wizard came from the moon. Remember that? I, I wish... I forgot. Yes, a stray is really good. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh yeah, and you can uh, purchase for like some fucking... Symbolic amount. Uh, you can purchase like a weekly trial of the PlayStation Extra, which uh, features Stray as one of its like available games. So yeah, it seems like the new PS Plus subscription really does work, kind of like a Game Pass, where some of the games, not all of the games, the like Game Pass does it, but it seems like some of the games will be available immediately on release if you're subscribing to a certain PS Plus. Now I've been thinking about it, okay, the premium yeah. subscription is pretty fucking expensive, but it's a yearly fucking purchase. I only subscribe to one subscription service, which is PS Plus. So it's like, fucking... I don't know, because I, I wanted to buy a new computer this week. I mean, this the, the new, the fucking next paycheck I get. But then I thought, you know what, I don't really, I'm not in a hurry. We'll bring a fire. I got Ring of Storms, Ring of Fire, because more defense though. You can actually see the ring somewhere on, on me. Oh, what the hell? That's weird. I wasn't moving, Jesus. It turns around when you move the camera like that. And... I just got distracted, what the fu- Oh yeah, so it's a yearly purchase, so it's not that bad. Right? Oh yeah, this is also Saints Row I wanted to buy. I gotta buy my waifu from OnlyFans a new fucking car. I'm not just kidding, I don't fucking do this shit. Honestly, I can all, I can never imagine. Who the fuck are people who straight up buy stuff for their online girlfriends? Not even real girlfriends. Just like, what, you get your name set on a live stream when you buy her a car for that? First of all, how much money do these people earn to be able to do shit like that? What do they fucking take out money out of the bank? Like, fucking rent? No, not rent. What the fuck I'm trying to say? Loan money from... Borrow money from the bank just to fucking pay their fucking wife? Second of all, why the fuck in their head something leads them to believe? That this is actually uh, working. Wait, why is this activated? 
Oh, I know why this is activated, because it leads to the fort. And this place also leads to the fort, so by activating a portal that leads to the fort here, I activated one that was here. I'm glad these islands don't seem to be connected to this one, because I was like, oh my god, this place is so full of islands. I don't want to go to half of them. Look, it seems like we're kind of reaching some kind of a connection point. And we're reaching very close to the end of chapter 2, and then we're gonna go to chapter 3. And then the end of the game happens. So who knows, I might be able to pull that off next week. If we're gonna be doing, uh, going through this game as efficiently as I had, I think I'm going to fucking pass out, melt to death, Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, sure, travel here, why not? You think they have cotton cloth and the uh, coral so I can go back and give it really quickly? I believe Captain Pickles is here, by the way. Uh, Captain Pickles sounds like a... Like a shitty Minecraft YouTuber who took fucking five minutes to come up with their name and now they're stuck with it. Like nowadays they're like a rapper or some other bullshit fucking moron and... Like they're all fucking old days on YouTube and they were making Minecraft Let's Plays and they were like, How's it going everybody? It's me, Captain Pickles. There was this one guy, I don't know why, but I always assumed that he had a nickname. When you come up with a nickname, you have to come up with something really fucking good for it to be justified by you coming up with it. Because, I don't know, I always... Somebody said that to me once. Well, actually, I fucking heard that on a Captain Bomb episode. That only losers come up with their own nicknames. And I don't know why, but I believed that ever since. And if you're thinking, well, Orosh, didn't you come up with your own nickname? No, I didn't. I gained this nickname. I've gained it. That's why I love it so much. Because it's, it sounds good. It looks good when you write it. That's why I'm putting it on my fucking thumbnails. It's, it's, it's simple. Easy to remember. Maybe apart from the... From the... Oh my god. So close to each other. Maybe apart from the... The, the part... Jesus. Fucking... Tongue twister. Not fucking ass. And a half of it. There's no fallen soldiers here, this shit sucks. I'm really curious, uh, by the way, since we're talking about fallen. What is the new Star Wars Jedi Survivor, I think it's going to be called, right? What I'm curious about that game the most is what odd, like what new revelation to Star Wars mythos will that game bring? You know, like, I'll watch episode 4 and I'll be like, Oh yeah, this is the guy from Star Wars Survivor. This is the guy who does that thing. By the way, I realized something that I need to fix right the fuck now. I don't have a door in my house. There we go. Now that's the door. How's it going? Are you a hairdresser by any chance? Oh, you sell outfits. Do you have any good ones? Oh, he has like a green version of the outfit I have. <laughs> well, it's green. I ain't exactly into green, thank you. This one looks stupid, it's for a girl. If this wasn't like what a dress I would put it on. Nah. Thank you. I'll pass. Little faggot. You wearing girl clothes. What are these fucking people shivering? This place ain't that cold. Water bombs. This guy has a cool quest. It, is it warm in here or is it just me? God, we're on fire again. Please, will you help us? Got it, Hulk Hogan, but a ginger. Now we gotta take water bombs and fucking toss them around on fires, such as. Well, that's two. I don't know if it works like people won't fucking help me out because the place is on fire or what? Ouch. Oh, am I resistant to fire because of my ring of fire? Speaking of rings of stuff, uh... The new Lord of the Rings show? I hear a dog, Sweetwater, watch out. You know what, I do have a backup uh, GZB companion who he never had yet. 
What the fuck? Because I never had an opportunity to to use him. But if I ever play a game where GD, where I play as GDB and he ends up with a dog instead of a cat, well, I do have a name for the dog. I won't tell it to you because then you'll be like, that's a stupid name. Then you'll proceed to steal it and I'll get no uh, rights. And I'll have to sue you. I hate how I fucking missed two of these water bombs somehow. Nice fucking moonshine stash you got there. What if I throw it like this? Nice. Epic aim. Where do I get more of these shitty fucking bombs? Care to give me more? Oh fuck. Oh, that's more. Right, brothers and sisters, don't worry, I got this shit by the ass. I'll save your town, I'll save the fort. I'll be known as GD, the, the fort saver. Fuck off. You guys are aware you have fucking lizards in your fucking fort? I think there's many more problems than just your fucking fort burning. And also, I think I figured out who fucking set the fire. Uh, it's supposed to be like ironic that this place is so cold and it's like in the middle of a fucking tundra, but the place is on fire. It's not like fires can break out in a fucking tundra. I'm not talking to people who aren't merchants because they have fucking nothing to offer. I, I fucking read Dwayne Johnson. I, I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, so Strife's pretty good. Uh, TV shows out. Oh yeah, Ring, Rings of Fate, the Lord of the Rings spin-off. I look garbage. Yeah. It's unfortunate. The new Resident Evil show, I think I talked about it, but it's, it is garbage. On one hand, I was kind of looking forward to watch something, some new TV show after I was done with Kenobi. But on the other hand, I don't really have much time recently to be watching stuff, so... So, like, I'm kind of glad that it fucking sucks and I don't have to be like, oh, I'm missing out on such a good TV show. Because I'm not now, because it sucks apparently, so... Somehow, in some twisted way, I'm actually glad that it's not good. Because then I would feel obligated to give it a watch because I'll feel like I'm missing out. Even though I'm not really that type of person where I'm like, oh, I need to watch this bullshit TV show, watch this shitty anime. Because everybody does. I usually watch stuff that interests me. You have a cool armor set. Do you have Captain Pickles? And now that the fire is under control for now, you can help me find our mascot, Sugar Cube. For sure. She went missing when the Dragon Queen struck, poor thing. Sugar Cube is almost certainly hiding somewhere. Yeah, thank you. Bring her back to me, will you? It's almost her din-din time. Sugar Cube. Now I gotta find a pet. Excuse me, I thought I was looking for a monkey. And now I'm looking for a guinea pig. Alright, well it seems like this place is... But that's about all it has to offer. Fallen Soldiers, Captain Pickles... Sugar Cube, I don't even know what the fuck that is, I think it's a dog. Alright, I'm not sure if it's not... The quest we have marked now doesn't actually give me Captain Pickles as a reward. How long is this episode? Eh, it's a decent length. It's a good length, yes. That's right. Whoa, I almost turned the video off by accident. Can PlayStation finally update? Like, do, can I text them, like, about this somehow? And can I, like, reach somebody who would actually do something about it? Or, like, if my game crashes, the footage I'm recording gets saved? Because PS4 did have that feature, and PS5 doesn't. And I'm not gonna lie, it bothers me quite a lot. Might be saying, oh, who the fuck gives a shit? Well, I do, because you might not be using the recording functionality of PS5. But I am almost on a daily basis. And it pisses me off whenever something breaks. And I have to re-record everything. Such was the case with one of the episodes of Sleeping Dogs where... I was recording for like half an hour. I was about to finish. And then the game just kind of broke. 
Do I not have coal? I do. Quite a lot of it, actually. What's the other thing I was looking for? See what I told you? I told you how I'm probably not even gonna fill up all these chests by the end of this playthrough. And look at that, I'm, I have so fucking many. And I'm, I'm, I'm not even using like half of these ones, and I have some additional here. I thought maybe these ones could be used for something more special, but I'm too fucking lazy to rearrange this shit. Mainly because I just randomly dump them all into whatever chest. Oh, fuck. I've been feeling pretty sick all day. Could it be because I was eating in a rush in the morning because I woke up a little too late and I had to had a fucking early shift and then I drank a fucking energy drink on my way to work and then I drank nothing but fucking cold water at work and then I had a bunch of beers and shit and a bunch of food and drank some other bullshit and now I'm drinking a fucking monster energy where's fucking Captain Pickles? Break a peg leg. That's funny, that's funny stuff. Funny, funny stuff! Now look at that, maxed out stats. I mean, not maxed out. Evenly... Whatever. Now look, this place connects to... This place connects to this. Now what we can do, we can uh, go here. Actually, we could go here and finish the episode, because... It seems like we're 20 minutes in. I don't really want to make these episodes too long. We're already doing quite a lot of stuff per episode, so it's not that big of a deal. Three quests available for tracking, and none of them I feel like doing. Well, none of them I can do. Look, fallen soldiers, fallen soldiers. Fallen soldiers, not here. Probably not here or here either, so... I'm, I imagine they might be here after this place. Oh look, the place we've been to, the one with a bunch of gold, is not, not here anymore. Oh, I thought once I have it unlocked, it's just there forever, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Well, that's too fucking bad. I wonder if this place has a hairdresser. It has one merchant. And that seems to be about it. Well, alright then, see you fellas in the next episode. Bye.